Hey guys, this is Richard Elsey with Signal 40, and this is a totally unrehearsed, unscripted uh, video for me. And I just want to say that as Richard Elsey, I work with Signal 40, the website, and we're finally going to get started up again. We're going to get started up with our podcast, our videos. Uh, world's going crazy on us, guys. I mean, to show empathy toward people is one thing, but you know, when you're having to start listening to stupidity, you know, that's well beyond empathy. You know, do I feel, you know, bad for the Black Lives Matter? In a way. But then in a way, now it's converted into a domestic terrorist organization. I mean, how else can you say it? Black Lives Matter is, is, is indistinguishable uh, from Antifa. To me and most Americans at this point, it's one and the same. Um, nothing's good about it. Nothing. You know, they are terrorists. They are damaging people's property. You know, and it, it doesn't even matter if they're white people. They don't give a crap. Uh, Asian, black people. Uh, it, it's just a point of you're damaging property that doesn't belong to you. That makes you, actually, it makes you a bitch. Um, but, you know, a terrorist group. So, come on, stop pretending to be this social justice movement. Maybe it was at one point, but at this point, nothing more than terrorist. Why do you put up with it? Why are we putting up with it? You know, sometimes you just got to take the stance of, enough of this shit, let's, uh, you know, let's squash it. Do whatever you have to do. Interrupt their protest. Charge them. Um, you know, get groups bigger and attack if you have to. If that's all they are going to understand is violence, you know, then maybe, you know, we have to up our plan. You know, maybe we got to start, you know, pushing back a little more and let our police departments alone so they can, you know, do their job. You know, all these cities, you know, they, oh, you arrest the bad guys, arrest them. And then the friggin' district attorney lets them loose. Guys, how stupid do you have to be to risk your life to arrest someone when you know they're just going to get turned loose? What's the point? Why would, why would anyone do that? Let them go. Don't bother them. Stay in your car. Eat the donuts. You know, go home to your family. Don't worry about them. If they want to kill each other, let them. It's simple as that. If the people of a city don't want a police force, pull it out. Let the criminals take it over. You know, give them what they want. That's the best thing we could probably do is just simply give them exactly what they want. Here, you don't want any police force? None. You know, figure it out amongst yourself. What? You know, um, you know, everyone's out boycott, you know, $600 a month and drawing unemployment. Well, guess what? That's going to run out. Also, a lot of them haven't been paying your rent. So there's tens of thousands of landlords out there that as soon as this moratorium is ended, end of the month, are going to send out one hell of a lot of eviction notices. Get your lazy ass out and figure it out for yourself. So it's coming, okay? Yeah. Retribution? Yeah. You know, uh, we're tired of getting pushed around and no one seems to care. So when that happens, you have to sort of start looking at it for yourself. Defend yourself. You know, protect yourself. Gun sales are skyrocketing through the roof. And guess why? They're scared. People are scared. If police ain't going to do anything. Why would they? Um, so defend yourself. You know, listen, it's your home, it's your property. People come and attack you. Blow them the hell out. Okay, simple as that. Get you a good 12 gauge, you know, short barrel so you get a good splatter. So put you some like, you know, four shot and blow them the hell away. That's the only thing that you can do. You know, someone attacks you, you tack them back. So anyway, I'm tired. You know, this is all bullshit. You know, every one of them is bullshit. You know, let me watch this news and... Oh, you know, it's because they didn't have food, or I don't even know. Friggin', you know, uh, talking about poor people, you know, uh, you know, in poverty, they're getting welfare checks every month. Most of them are raised on welfare. 
you know, in government housing. Now, I'm not talking about just black people here. Everyone, oh, you're racist. No. White, just as many white people as in there as black. Uh, well, considering the population, there should be one hell of a lot more white people. Um, if you think about it as a percentage of population, way more whites than they are blacks. You know, that's why they're the minority. You know, but so everyone here, you know, is living in poverty. They're getting their food stamps. They're getting their Medicaid. They're getting their welfare, Section 8 housing. And now it's going to be get the hell out. You know, and I hope they damage the properties because now, at least when you rent a Section 8 property, if you damage it and leave it damaged in any way, you're forever excluded from any Section 8 housing. So this is going to be freaking awesome. You know, the friggin' scumbags out there running around. You know, the rest of us, we can't go protest. We got jobs. You know, it's something that is mandatory for us to earn money to be able to feed our family. Uh, Uncle Sam don't feed our family. We have to feed them ourselves. You know, so a little burden on us, but that's okay. You know, same thing with our medical. We have to pay for our family's medical. You know, oh, oh, but y'all out there protesting, uh, you want free medical. You don't want to pay for anything because you're a fucking bum. Get a job, learn how to work, go to school, you know, stop having children before marriage, and think, you know, what would make me a better life? Let me go out and get me a gang, man. Or is it maybe I should go to work and apply myself and do the best I can do and hopefully you know, get promoted and make more money. There's an idea. It ain't going to happen. You know, because you're too freaking lazy to get off people's asses and do something. We all want to sit around and point our finger. It's your fault that I don't have a job. No, it's your fault, you lazy dumbass. You know, you go out and you get criminal records, you sell your little pot, and then you wonder why you can't get a job. Well, it's because you're a bum. Uh, I mean, let's face it, that's pretty much what it is. You know, so get off our asses. Leave us alone. You know, go back to a civil society. You know, this has went way beyond. They're fucking animals. You know, so I don't want to be, you know, so harsh on anybody, but that's what it is. You look at the block life and Atifa uh, and all of them, you know, it, it looks like a bunch of animals. You know, there's white people, black people, Asians, and they're running around looking like animals, you know, uncivil society. And everyone's sort of okay with it, you know. I'm okay when they burn their own shit down, you know. Let me burn down my own house. Let me burn down my own shops in my own neighborhood. Dipshit. <laughs> then they want to bitch they don't have anything. Um, and then you have dumbass shop owners. You know, well, they burned down my shop here in Seattle. And, you know, I'm going to go fund me page so people will give me money to build my shop back. Drop dead move. If you move to a safer environment like a Republican city or something, maybe. But as long as you're staying within those Democratic Black Life Matter and Tifa cities, you're on your own. So anyway, Richard Elsey, we're getting Signal 40 up and running again. We have uh, Florida.fm now. We got Dick.fm uh, to broadcast our podcast. So let's go 100% and get this shit underway. So anyway, Rich from Signal 40.